Hey, it's Maximo and welcome to Maximo's Travels. This video will feature us arriving at our last port of our Alaskan cruise, Whittier. It's the end of our seven night Alaskan cruise. We disembark and say goodbye to the new Amsterdam by Holland America. We jump on board the nearby cruise train between Whittier and Anchorage. We ride in panoramic luxury and see unexpected and sublime landscapes along the way. Join me for this unique and not to be missed train journey. Sadly, it is our eighth and final day on our Alaskan cruise aboard the New Amsterdam by Holland America. We'd sailed into Whittier at about 5 a.m. We were up early for the sail into our final port of our cruise. Whittier is located around 60 miles or 100 kilometers from Anchorage. The port of Whittier is where all the cruise ships dock. Anchorage doesn't have its own deep water harbor. The Cook Inlet is very, very shallow and not passageable for big cruise ships, let alone small ones. Whittier is a town of around 265 residents. Most of them live in one tall high-rise building that you can see in the picture now. It was time to disembark the ship. Basically, there were two ways to get to Anchorage, where the nearest airport was located. One was by train, and the second was by bus. We chose to go by train. It cost around $174 Australian per person. We disembarked quite early, around about 7.30 a.m. Disembarkation was by group. We all waited in the world stage for our group number to be called, and when it was, we disembarked the ship, walked down the gangplank, and onto dry land. We got our last close-up look of the new Amsterdam before we bid it adieu. It was a gloriously sunny day, a little bit cool, but beautiful. We walked along covered walkways all the way to the train station. All I can say is they must expect a lot of rain in this area. Everything was superbly well organised and we made our way onto the train. I believe the train is operated by Holland America. It's a very special train in that it's got perspex full wraparound glass offering absolutely fantastic views of the surrounding landscape. We found our reserve seats, got in and got comfortable, and before long, the train started to pull away for our trip to Anchorage. We were able to get our last look at the new Amsterdam. It was spectacular as it was set against the backdrop of high snow-capped mountains in the background. It was quite uh, sad that our cruise had come to an end, but what we didn't realise that this train journey was to be an excursion offering a luxurious, scenic and spectacular journey from Whittier to Anchorage. One of the really unique features of this journey is that the only way in and out of Whittier is through a very long tunnel that is shared by both the trains and cars and buses and trucks. The tunnel is about 2.6 miles long or around about uh, just over 4 kilometres long. It's one way at a time and the buses and trucks and cars go through and then separately the train goes through. We waited until the coast was clear and we entered the tunnel. It was a bit spooky with the glass panoramic roof but eventually we made it all the way to the end and into spectacular scenery. But, uh, this is Grand Valley, and so we are surrounded by glaciers. There's glaciers there, there's a glacier there, there's a glacier over there. The glacier that's back behind these mountains, that's going to be Portage Glacier. And so Portage Glacier goes into Portage Lake and Portage River, which we will actually cheat uh, and ride along. Up above us, all the way above the uh, mountain up there is a glacier. And then we have three glaciers over here as well. One there, one there, and one right over there. Glaciers everywhere. The guide on our carriage was delightful and extremely knowledgeable. She was an Alaskan local and anecdotally said that uh, she'd worked on the train for a number of years 
she was earning twice what a teacher would earn for working only five months of the year but for those five months she worked up to 18 hours per day. We kept rolling along and passed very spectacular scenery. If you're wondering what these dead trees are all about, well these trees were killed by a 9.2 earthquake in a series of tsunamis that struck this area in 1964. The land has yet to recover as you can see. The 9.2 magnitude earthquake lasted over four and a half minutes and created tsunamis of 27 feet or over eight meters that devastated the local area. On a much brighter note, the cabin was quite spacious. It wasn't full, so we had the opportunity to move around and take photos from different vantage points. And there was also a fairly decent uh, menu that included a number of gluten-free options and drinks, including coffees and teas. These were able to be purchased at an additional cost. So once we stop, I'm going to have to go out until the conductor gives me an okay to let you guys disembark. We're going to exit out the same door you guys came. I want you guys to make sure you check, um, double check, triple check the baggage underneath your seat. That was a luxurious and spectacular train ride. I wasn't expecting the pure majesty of the scenery that we passed. It was all nice and slow and easy to take in. And then just like that, we were on the bus and headed to downtown Anchorage. After driving on the bus for a couple of minutes, we were dropped off at the William A. Egan Convention Center, right in the heart of downtown Anchorage. Some of the cruise passengers had flights to catch, so proceeded to the airport. We decided to stay overnight in Anchorage and were staying just outside the downtown area. Our suitcases were brought here and we decided to uh, check in our hand luggage with our suitcases and explore some of downtown Anchorage. In my next video I'll show you out and about in downtown Anchorage as well as near our hotel. 
I've got to say that New Amsterdam's logistics were excellent. It was just so easy to pick up and drop off suitcases right from the convention center. I do hope you liked this video. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notify bell so you'll never miss another upcoming video. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying me a coffee or smashing that super thanks button. And look out for our next video, which will cover the sights and sounds of Anchorage. Until next time, you take care and bye now.